Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blow Daz. I'm Gaynor. Okay, the two of us here today, Gaynor. Yes. If Patreon's your thing, check out the link below. Loads of stuff on there. All starting for a mere three dollars per month. Yes. Uh, loads of stuff, including full watch-alongs of Modern Family. Very yep. funny. Yep. F is for family. Very yep. funny. Uh, always always sunny. sunny in Philadelphia. Very funny. Uh, there's loads welcome of stuff on there. Wrexham. Welcome to Wrexham as well. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, loads of stuff on there. Check it out. Um, bit of a EWU, yes. one of our uh, favourite channels to go yeah. to for uh, cop stories. Yep. Hero cops hunt down mass killer. Should we get into it? Yes. Let's go. Fourteen forty one. I got shot. I'm shot. I have eyes on the suspect. He's walking south. He's wearing all black, skinny. Walking southbound on Dustin. Okay, there was a bullet hole went right through the baby's room, right through the window. It's just a few minutes before 11 a.m. when a dreadful sound pierces the quiet calm of an ordinary Monday morning. Residential security cameras go from capturing birds and the occasional passing car to recording the opening moments of an unfolding nightmare. The 911 switchboard immediately lights up with dozens of calls pouring in from terrified residents who can't imagine what form of unthinkable hell has shattered the morning peace. Somebody, there's gunfire, there's automatic gunfire, there's fire, they're, they're shooting, and there, there are people out on the street and they're yelling, and somebody's shooting. Oh my God, get on your run, hurry! Ma'am, can you get in a safe location? I'm in a safe location. Okay, can you guys get down? Yes. Can you guys see anyone? Yes. I know, they're outside and they're shooting. The caller's fear is palpable, but she's only one of many residents calling in to report the horrors being unleashed on the community. Many, many gunfire. Oh, okay, we do already have that. Yes, we, we do have the information. We are just asking everyone to stay away from the doors and windows. Do you have any information on who the shooter is? No, no, but, but it sounds like they could have killed. They, they probably shot 300 rounds, yes. and I'm not kidding. Residential cameras pick up this ghastly scene along with more footage of the day's horrific sights and sounds. Moments later, a lone figure dressed in black walks ominously down the street. The chaos in Farmington is not over, and the 911 calls keep coming. Do you see anything? No, there's a lady here. She's bleeding right now. They're, they're shooting on Dustin. They just, they, it's going off like crazy right now. Okay. Are you okay? Can you imagine just so like sat there minding your own business, business at home? I know. In a quiet little neighborhood, and all of a sudden, you know, shots start it's ringing a lunatic, out. Lunatic, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just uh, lost the plot. Just especially if you've got kids as well, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, but you, you, your natural reaction would be to go out to sort yeah. of like see what's going on. But then again, if you're thinking someone's got a gun and you're going to go out, unless you've got a gun, yeah. then forget it. Do you know what I mean? It's stay in and so I take shelter somewhere. I think I'd be staying in. But you wouldn't be knowing if they're going door to door yeah. as well. You wouldn't know what's going on. No. Mm, it's quite terrifying. Mm. Window. You shot through your window? Yes, I have a hole in my window. The lady, the lady shot. He okay. shot through a window. We need an ambulance. There's a guy down out in the street. Emergency services are on the way to a scene very much still in progress. <laughs> State Holy police shit. officer Andreas Tamadiatis is one of the first, and he knows fully well that he must put himself in harm's way if he's to have any chance of putting an end to the mayhem. 441 sitcom, uh, create a call. Uh, they have uh, such fire at East uh, Navajo Street, multiple casualties. I'm on my way. The state police officer heads to the scene with lights and sirens blazing preparing himself for what may well be a life and death face off yeah. with a mass killer but before he can engage the shooter the shooter's violence comes to him 1441 ah! ah! i got shot i'm shot ah! Ah! Uh, 
As the officer drives to the hospital, you can hear over the radio, the chaos is far from over. Farmington police officer Benjamin Jimmett is on the ground and closing in on the shooter. He gets news that turns a very bad day into something much worse. He's in front of the Methodist Church, walking southbound on Dustin. I'm being told he's got an automatic weapon. He just took off White House, directly south of the church. More shots are being fired. Sarge, stop right there. Stop right there. Make a contact team. Give me another unit to Dustin and Apache. Dustin and Navajo. Right here. Follow me. Right up here by the White House. White House on the west east side. West side. As Officer Jemmett runs into a confrontation. This is proper mental, isn't yeah. it? This is high end. I don't think I've ever seen no, anything I've like this. I've not seen anything like this. This is proper like uh, when someone's, you know, gone. Got no I mean, fear you, of this me. is the sort of shit you just read about or hear yeah. about. To actually see the footage of things like this is just yeah. crazy. The fact that he's just walking, he's, he's got no fear of being killed himself. And he's already shot a cop and yeah. he's just sort of like firing away randomly, willy yeah. nilly. Wow, this is bad, man. With mortality, Sergeant Rachel Desenza slams the pedal to the floor to arrive at the chaotic scene as quickly as possible. Shoot out. Yeah. A gun. As one of the bullets takes the sergeant down, Officer Jimmett shouts out an order that everyone had been waiting to hear. Sergeant, is down! Sergeant, is down! She's fire! She's fire! Pull up! Single shot! Hey! Where's the king? In the midst of the chaos, the officers had managed to take down the shooter. Do not move! Do not move! Got cuffs right here. Cuff him. Here we go. 428. Subject is down. He is secured. We need 55, 1018. Officer down. While the suspect is in their control, the urgency surrounding Sergeant Desenza is of immediate concern, and Farmington officers do everything they can to get her medical attention as soon as possible. I'm surprised they didn't just put him to bed. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They probably have, but they've probably not said yet. Yeah, well, I'm, hoping, <coughs> I'm hoping they have. Mm. I'm hoping whatever's happened, he's, uh, he's not getting through this. Yeah. Just breathe. Rachel, I'm coming. Uh, Where else you hit, Rachel? I don't know. It's... Okay, I'm here, all right? I got you. You got another turn on you? All right, I got two shirts on. Sorry. My gun's over there. We're gonna load and go. Hey, we're gonna load and go. I got you. We got to. I think I'm hit in my head. I'm just burning. Where? My, my burning in my crotch area. Right okay. No, you're good. When you're, you're good, it's here. I got it. Yeah. Am I hit? Yeah. Hey, give me a medic here now. We got a tourniquet on her, but we need to transport. I don't have a radio. Hey, this shit. Where are you at? Dig it. It's just. I got it's spalling. But this is what I'm worried about, okay? Meanwhile, Sergeant Desenza isn't the only one in need of immediate medical intervention. Back at the church, officers do their best to revive the suspect. Oh. Boys, be alive. Back at Dustin and Navajo. I've got three victims down there. I need that secured as well. 
The suspect's injuries are far too grave, and he's beyond the life-saving efforts of the officers on the scene. Sergeant Desenza, however, still has a fighting chance, and Farmington police do everything in their power to get her to the hospital as quickly as possible. I hope she's okay. Just jump that on the ground. Get in, Rachel. remain at the highest intensity for police still on the scene. They may have believed that this was the end of a harrowing day in the field, but that isn't the case. Uh, I need all individuals working this scene to be aware there could be a possible second shooter. Oh, Jesus. I'll be aware on that. With news now coming over the airwaves of a possible second shooter, Jimmett and the other officers work to make sure area residents are safe. Hello, Fermentive Police! Occupants of Farmington Police! I understand you took rounds! Ma'am, there's an active shooter! Sir, there's an active shooter! We need to check to make sure you're okay! Nobody's there! You, nobody lives there? Okay, are you guys injured? Anyone injured here? Okay, good. Please just go inside. The officers have no idea what new horrors might be waiting for them at the active shooter's address as the threat of a second shooter still lurks in the background. All right. Lots of rounds in here? Spin rounds? Barbatip yeah. police! You got rounds? Yeah, several, several rounds. Barbatip police! Get in there, make yourself known! Yeah, just what you got. Hey, we got multiple spit rounds in here, okay? So I'm guessing the shooter lived there. Yeah. On that street where he's yeah. come out and started shooting everybody. Yeah. Wow, it's just one of them things where I'm surprised not, I don't know about this because I normally read like the, the news from the USA. Yeah. Um, and sometimes you read about mass mass shootings and yeah. stuff like that. I read them, you know, it's not not very regularly read them, but you read, you hear about different things going yeah. on around the country. Uh, I try and keep up with it. Best Whereabouts is it? It's in uh, New Mexico. Oh, New Mexico. Mm. Okay. But, um. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm surprised I've not heard about this, but this just, I mean, for the cops to turn up like this and just, yeah, just put their lives the, in just danger, doing, the doing the their everyday jobs, trying yeah. police, and, you know, I'm not going to go into anything about gun laws and stuff like that, because that's not what it's about. This is just about absolute nutcases yeah. who, who, can, who can have access to yeah. certain weapons, and it could happen anywhere in the world, whether yeah, it be a gun or whether it be a knife or whether it be, you know, yeah. a bomb or anything. But this is just, uh, it's just a shitbag move, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's a proper shithead move. Yeah. He wasn't messing about flipping that bed, was <laughs> <Yeah>. it? Hey? <laughs> I'd say you've got to be so quick and so alert on this kind of stuff when you're doing this, but I'm, I'm response like yeah. this. I don't know, I know, it's, I know all cops are armed in the USA, but I mean, I don't know, I see the armed police over here the way they are, and they, they treat very similar to how they treat in the USA. Because armed police normally only go to incidents over here where there's a firearm. Yeah. They don't normally just go to... Well, know, we, random... we normally see them at the airport. Yeah, but you, you've got armed response, um, because what's Paul's an armed response yeah. officer? And uh, he goes to like, they'll just go to regular incidents, but yeah. only if there's a firearm. Yeah. Do you remember when Paris got uh, got arrested? Yeah. And that kid Paris, uh, whatever his name was, Bostock, when he got arrested, he got firearm police were on the scene there yeah. because he was dangerous, man. Yeah. He, he was, was like massive. six foot eight. He yeah. was like six foot he eight and a giant of a guy of them, yeah. and a strong man. Yeah. But yeah, firearms. Police continue clearing the suspect's house. 
knowing that danger could lurk behind every dark corner. Short room. Look it over the side. Check under bed. Good. Okay. Got a round on the ground. How's this bathroom? Chris, we're clear on this side. Come to you. You clear the laundry room? Most of us went on to the shower. Mm-hmm. Couldn't find out the window. Good there? Zach, let's check the backyard. As the officers move cautiously into the shooter's backyard, a dark shed looms on the suspect's property, along with two vehicles and a camper. A second gunman could be lurking anywhere. I got the shed. Nice and slow, guys. Nice and slow. Deep breath. Cover that camper. Zach, we're going to move up. Let's get another unit on us. Come up. Hold on the camper. Hold on this van right here. Got the van. Okay, you're good on the van? Yep. Zach and I are going to move to the shed, and then we'll come back to you. Okay. Here we go. Park the police! Make yourself down! Park the police! Wow, well, he's everywhere. He can hide there, right? Okay. Park the police! Anybody in the shed? Make yourself down! The adrenaline must be mm. pumping. Do you think there's a second shooter? Yeah. You think there is? I think he's hiding. I don't think there is. You don't? No, but there seems to be a lot of time left in the video. <laughs> Makes me think you, you might be right. Mm. Got a rifle. Uh, muzzle loader. The police work to secure the rest of the property, but it isn't long before Officer Jimmett's adrenaline starts to wear off. Sarge, I'm starting to crash. All right, we'll get you. Yeah, I'm just uh, adrenaline dump. I'm starting to crash. I need some water or something. I don't know wherever. I'm around. The I need to go to my unit. I need to call my wife. En route to the hospital, Sergeant Desenza tries to determine how badly she's been injured. <laughs> Am I bleeding? A little, but we got a tourniquet on you, okay? okay. I, I can't tell a whole lot yet, but just keep with us, just stay with us. Because they keep talking, don't they? Okay. All right, squeeze as hard as you need. I got you. I got you. Breathe. You're right, you're right, you're right. Officer Stamatiadis, who's seeking treatment for his own gunshot injury, arrives at San Juan Medical Center. He's been shot in the arm, do you think? I don't know, because he was sat in the, he was sat in he was the, sat in the car, so if you're driving, it's come through the window, hasn't it? Yeah. I don't know if it come through the back window or the side window. It's probably gone in his shoulder or his arm yeah. or something. Mm. Who is the security over here? Can you, until my units come, can you put security on my vehicle? I have a broken window. All right, who is responsible over here? All right, I've been shot on my hand, so where are we going? Yeah, in the hand. In the gear shot. What's your date of birth? Which one do you want me to take? 1441 Sitcom 97 at the hospital. Your name? Andrea Stamatiadis. Have you been here before? No. Let's start stripping you down. Oh, f- me, man. No, that's f- me. I cannot. It's okay. I got you. I'm going to help you out. Officer Stamatiadis finally gets the medical attention he needs, but back on Navajo Street. Is there supposed to be a second? I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm 
I'm getting proper anxious watching this, me. I am with her saying, I've like got your cop, ID yeah. with you. Yeah. I'm going like, to just, just do me. Yeah, it's, it's just it's a case of like, you know, you've got, you got to process him, but at the same time, you need to process him correctly. Yeah. You know, who he is, you know, make sure his medical record's correct. Yeah. Insurance, probably more than anything. Yeah. Make sure he's not a scammer coming in, you know, yeah. whatever it is. Not a criminal, dressed as a cop. Yeah. Issue, I got the medic coming here. for her vehicle. Uh, yeah, second gunman. We, yes, we don't know. There's a vehicle behind it. So there is a second gun, but we don't know where they're at. I know less than you. I don't even have a Without confirmation of a second shooter, the police must maintain the utmost caution as they speak to area residents about what transpired in the neighborhood. Their shock in the wake of the situation is palpable. How many rounds do you think you heard, roughly? I had heard at least 50 when I called dispatch. And I'm guessing another 30 more. Close. Yeah, at least three 30 round magazines, at least. If not more. And he was just shooting up the world. Okay. The witness's recollection of the round seems extraordinary, but it's actually a low estimate. Police later calculate that the shooter squeezed off at least 190 rounds before the morning's damage was done. Somebody down the street is saying they got a video of two guys shooting at each other. So I don't know if that means somebody else came out. And so I don't, I don't know yet. We're still... But that guy, that assailant, is he dead? dead? The one that was originally shooting all the guns, is he dead? Uh, I don't know. I just got, I got here late, so... I don't know if he's dead. I know they were doing CPR on him, so... If you remember, one of the guys who was arresting him was plain clothes. Yeah. I guess he was the cop. Mm. He was over doing the CPR on him. So it's, if you've seen two people shooting each other, it could have been that cop as well. Right. He might have been shooting back. Yeah, you know? yeah. He's, he's, he's down. down. He's down. Yeah. Okay, good. They, there was a bullet hole went right through bed, baby's room, went through a window. She'd be dead if she, she had just walked inside and she heard the gun start start. She would have, she was standing there watering her flowers. And a minute after she walked inside, the gun start start. She started, she would have been dead if she was standing there. Do we know what kind of bullets it was by chance? There were a lot of different bullets. Because yeah. I think I have one stuck up in there. Yeah, the, yeah, the crime scene guys will definitely want to process your unit or your vehicle. Amid all the chaos, many of the police on the scene are still unclear about what exactly transpired. Stan, how many, how many homicides do we have total, not including him? Like how many did he, three? I know of three. We have the two in the van and we have the one lady that wow. jumped out of the car and then was transported and died at the hospital. Wow. Okay, so we have for sure three homicides and then, so that's not including him. And then the officer involved shooting part with him so he's we've got four deceased on scene four are dead from the senseless rampage including the killer himself Shit, the man. first victim that morning was 79 year old shirley voida who was merely driving by the shooter's house when he opened fire on her pretty sure that i saw a lady i don't know if she got shot and killed but she was laying in the middle of the street and then those shots rang out and her car was un unmanned and rolling down the road she struggled out of her car and was seen by a mother-daughter pair who stopped to check on the woman's well-being. The shooter turned his gun on them, uh. ending their lives on the street in front of his house. The officers struggle to find an answer that gives meaning to this pointless slaughter, but it's early still, and the details are still slowly coming to light. There's a rifle in the bush, and you saw it. Okay. Just laying there in the bush. Yeah, just keeping it. One, four, three, just saw that. We didn't see any weapons no, inside. No, command. no weapons inside, but there's a rifle in the bush. Okay. And we don't know who belongs to this. It's an AR. Okay. That well, makes sense with the well, man. So, yes. so do we have a confirmation on a second shooter? So it sounds like there's probably mm -hmm. just going to be one, but he was using two guns. But I, so I know the victim in the driver's seat of that van pretty well. So I need to tell her, her son is, her son in law is my bishop. God, man. This, is a, this lady right here. She was shot here and back out the heck. The investigation will identify the shooter as 18-year-old Bo Wilson, a high school senior only one day from graduation. Friends and family later told news outlets that Wilson was a dedicated wrestler who lost his sense of purpose when he left the team only a few short months before the shooting. The wrestling coach told the media that Wilson had been removed from the team due to disciplinary reasons. It's not until nearly midnight on the day of the shooting that police finally processed the body. 
at which time they find something that gets them at least one step closer to an explanation. Before that discovery, however, the police on scene try to come to terms with what happened in their town that day. Long day. On yeah. drugs. Hey. Hey. Drugs. I think he was on drugs. That's the, uh, what they discover on the body. No. Mm. <clears throat> Anything new about this guy you guys found out? Um, uh, he went to a, a psychiatrist or psychologist yesterday. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. He's got some mental health issues, and then today, this. Jeez. <clears throat> um, his father recently bought a gun, or one of the guns that we found on the road at Sportsman's Warehouse. Like, within the last few days. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he was very troubled. Finally, the crime scene technicians examine the body, and they discover something that they hope will shed some light on the shooter's mindset. There we go. There we go. And reading this on the end of the chart, oh, I'm late eyes, or I've got you to put a finger on my little sister. Is that the note there? I promise. There will be regrets. Huh. According to police, Wilson had been seeing a doctor who advised him to make a mental health appointment. Wilson reportedly told the family practitioner that he was depressed and hearing voices in the days before the shooting. He never made the appointment. A nearby doorbell camera recorded Wilson screaming, come and kill me, as police closed in. Based on that and Wilson's decision to leave his bulletproof vest behind, the chief of the Farmington police said that he, quote, made a decision that he's going to stand and fight it out until he's killed. Farmington Police Sergeant Rachel Desenza was shot in the pelvis, and New Mexico State Police Officer Andreas Stamatiadis was shot in the hand. They were both treated at the local hospital and released. Of course, the officers weren't the only victims of the harrowing violence. When the smoke cleared, three women were dead. Shirley Voida, 79, Melody Ivy, 73, and her mother, Gwendolyn Schofield, who was 97 years old. 97, yeah, and life comes to an end like that. I don't know, I mean, mental health, the way it's sort of like portrayed nowadays, I mean, it's, I know a lot of people use it as an excuse, um, especially over here. You see it and it's like, well, I've got mental health issues, so they don't have to work and they yeah. play on it sort of thing. But mental health is a serious issue with, you know, people that are trying to do things. He's hearing voices. He's obviously got some yeah, kind of sorry. like, uh, sorry, some sorry, kind of issue. Sorry. But there's no, there's no excuse whatsoever to go gunning down other people. No. no. You know, it's just a real cowardly shitbag move. Yeah, it is. You know, to yeah. do things like, just to pick up a gun and go out and start yeah. thinking, I'm going to do this. Yeah, there's so yeah. many people who struggle, but they, they go and you know top themselves they don't yeah top other people. if you want to fight with the police and whatever take it up with the police don't just go by shooting innocent bystanders or yeah. even you know stabbing innocent bystanders it's a proper shitbag move and i, I think, don't think it was anything to do with the police i think he was just out on a rampage yeah, he was saying come kill me and all that when he to the police he was baiting the police to do what he'd done and he'd already killed three people at that time he probably didn't have the guts to do it himself in so he's got mm. them to do it for him People just, I think sometimes they want to go down as martyrs in some kind of way or, you know, they want that, like, uh, they want that recognition of a look at him, you know, notoriety for being yeah. a little bit of a, you know, a wrong and sort of thing. Yeah. I think, you know, sometimes it should never be reported who they are, what the name is, you know, where they do, yeah. and just have a headstone that just says shitbag on it. Yeah. Cowardly shitbag. Yeah. You know, I know it's tough on people with mental health issues, and I do feel sorry for people with mm. mental health issues. You I know, think it's as a well, thing. The, you know, you, you can't have... GP is saying, make an appointment, with, you need to be sectioned if they feel that you're, yeah, you're not safe. Yeah, especially if someone says they've got voices in their head yeah. and they're, they're doing all that, then yeah, have it looked at sort of thing, like, I just don't know, it's just, you know, he's, 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 you know, people talk about the gun laws in the USA and that's not, this is 100% not what it's about, no. it's definitely not, you know, it's, if it's, you easy, get a access, gun, you'll get it's easy accessible, but you look at, we've been to a gun range over in the USA, we know people who carry guns and how responsible they were yeah. and how sort of like safe we were around yeah. them. And that's what the gun laws, that's what it's about. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the right to own a gun. Yeah. But if you're going to own a gun and be misused, I mean, they only had that gun for a few days. Yeah. That's all that goes to show, you know, what, what sort of people you're dealing with. They're yeah. probably not used to them. Yeah. You know, but he's, uh, he's going around willy nilly just firing them. And some of these people, I don't know, video games sometimes, when you see video games, people, car chases, I watched the bike chase before. 
and people are doing it and I'm thinking it's some guy's being chased on a motorcycle 142 mile an hour and videoing it yeah and I'm like mate you're trying to live a real life video game you're gonna kill yourself yeah exactly just mental yeah. you know but yeah it's a uh, uh, tough one that yeah it's uh, serious and uh, well done to the police for uh, for fixing yeah. it in the end yeah. but uh, unfortunately yeah three people lost their lives now you got well four but yeah. no one really cares about the guy who caused no. it all so anyway there you go uh don't forget to like and subscribe go to ewu as well you've got some great content on there as well really good channel and uh, we'll see you on the next one Bye. cheers